Now, local authorities are working around the clock to put out the uh, devastating fire. It has also notified North Korea for possible cooperation. Kim ji reports. The Korea Forest Service said Friday evening that the government has dispatched more than 50 helicopters and around 13,700 officials, including those from the National Fire Agency, the Korean National Police Agency and nearby municipal governments to help extinguish the fire in Kosang, Sokcho, Gangneung, Dongae and Inje, cities along the country's east coast. The National Fire Agency said it has mobilized more than 870 fire trucks from across the nation, which is the highest number of trucks it has ever deployed in a single day. Seoul's Unification Ministry has also mobilized personnel as a wildfire is located near the border with North Korea. Ministry officials say they've already shared information about the fire with the North on Friday through the Inter-Korean Liaison Office, conveying the need for possible cooperation. We are going to share information on the wildfire with North Korean officials and express the need for possible inter-Korean cooperation. We will keep an eye on the situation to decide whether we should work together with the North. Meanwhile, the Ministry of National Defense says it has also deployed more than 7,000 soldiers and a combined 35 military aircraft as of Friday evening to help in efforts to extinguish the fire and restore affected areas. In addition, 13,000 soldiers are standing by. The Defense Ministry also said it is deploying some 6,800 meals for displaced residents. Kim Jian, Arirang News.